by night. Keep going crazy. Y'all, y'all already know what y'all tune into this. The pun after hours. Oh, I'm C the Surfer, my bad. I forgot <laughs> I forgot the whole introduction. But I'm C the Surfer, y'all go ahead. Y'all know who he is, okay. So I'm Maya the Activist. I'm Simone. And I'm Zeta Black. Yes, sir. This is after hours and you know his name is C the Surfer. I said that already. <laughs> but you but, believe, you believe, you believe. You're right. It's alright. Um Anyways, I know we normally ask how we doing, but I never ask how y'all doing. I just I go straight into talking. Okay. Yeah, that's your thing. <laughs> I um, seriously want to know, like, a lot of shit has been happening. And we have talked a lot in the car, but we didn't talk about what's y'all superstitions that y'all live by, like, that y'all believe in. Oh, y'all got any superstitions? Y'all gonna look at me dumb. Uh, that sweeping the feet thing, I don't do that. What's sweeping the feet? If you sweep a woman's feet, she won't get married or something like that. And there's another one, like, if you sweep someone's feet, they can go to jail. I, that's, I don't like, know. Like, carry them off? Like, nah, like, like, off like with no, a broom. Like, like, a broom. Like, like, yeah, you, like, you accidentally sweep their feet or something. Like, you coming by with it or something. Like, They're going to jail? Yeah, like, my grandmother told me that. Well, I, I don't know how much truth is that's to that, but... Grandma, yeah, that's Give me a broom, cuz. <laughs> hey, chill, bro, chill, chill. So is it whoever you're sweeping, they go yeah, to jail? Yeah, they go to jail. Oh. Now, the only reason I believe she said that is because there's a story behind it where she slept her uncle's feet and he actually ended up going to jail. So for her, that's truth. Got you. Okay, so, so if you sweep the feet, you go to jail. That's interesting. Yeah. I'm going to do my little brother. Let's see where he yeah. ended up. Oh, and if a bird poop on you, it's good luck. I do believe in that one. Huh? If a bird poops on you, it's good, it's good luck. luck. Oh, I had that one time. It's not so much good luck. I mean, good things <laughs> happened to me after that, so I was like, okay. Um, my superstitions are that you should never sleep in front of a mirror. What? Because you're, they're starting to say that your soul will get trapped in a mirror and demons are going to get you. What? I somewhat agree with that, but not fully. Oh, no, my cousin trying to put the mirrors behind my bed. I said, oh, don't do that. No, so my soul gets trapped. Wait, 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 but there's though. mirrors on the ceiling in some people's house. Yeah, mirrors can be a portal. Even black black mirrors. Wait, wait, wait. So your soul gets trapped in the mirror? I, that's not how I interpret it, but I wanted her to finish. No, yeah, they're trying to say, like, yeah, it's like she said, it's like a portal. So, like, your soul is stuck in a portal of demons. Well, with demons. Whoa. Like demons with demons, the fuck? <laughs> No, I have seen it. Even like some scary movies where like you see them like painting over mirrors or um, like covering TVs because TV, anything that is a reflection. Because in my opinion, I feel like the reflect, it's not so much the mirror, it's the eye. Because to me, like your eyes are like a portal to your soul. Mm. Um, if you stare at, for me, if I stare at somebody for long enough, mm -hmm. even for a second, a flicker of, to me, their true intentions is going to show up because... It genuinely comes because people get nervous that you're staring at them. So they let their guard down. And then they, when their guard is down, you see who the fuck they are. So I think a lot has to do with the fact that you're looking back into it. And it allows things to go back and forth. But Okay. I right. What else I believe in this is precision. Um, do y'all believe in any numbers? Like, like the... Like if you keep numbers. seeing a number reoccur or something like that? I don't believe that. A lot of people do three, 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 seven, 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 two, two, two. Minus two, three. I have two and three are both my lucky numbers. Two and three. Mm -hmm. In Asian culture and in real life, I was born on the third day of February. People like, in California, like, I think they're seven, seven, seven or something like that. I don't know. That's a general thing, but I feel like everybody in personally has a, a specific number that is tailored to them. It's called like a life path number, but that's what we're I mean, I personally keep seeing two, four, seven, but I don't necessarily think that's a suspicion. I it just think that's a coincidence. To you, though, if you get your astrology actually read and broken down into houses, it could correlate to you. You could see a pattern. Red flag. Whatever. <laughs> Listen, a pattern is a pattern is a pattern. And let me explain something to you. All science <laughs> does is explain my mythology. So if you study the stars, then I guess you're toxic too. Red because that's fucking all flag. Is. Like that's all zodiac science is is the study of stars. So I guess uh, all astrologists, you're a red flag. I guess. Yeah. Yes. But how y'all um how y'all enjoying New York? 
That's cool. That's cool. I've ate good. I'd say. I had yeah. two different types of pizza today. I've been vibing. Cold. I got left in the car. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> so so I wasn't I wasn't here in the after hours that y'all did with CA. I mean I was here in the building, but I wasn't like here sitting on set mm-hmm. talking. So what like what did y'all think of Seaway? Like uh, even even interview wise, we did interview him. He's a cool but, kid. He's very intelligent. If I was raised around him, he definitely would have been my friend. Yeah, I see that for you. Yeah, because I was about to say like even like I could. Me, like, literally me and him just interacting and talking, like, I automatically knew how old he was and all that. Because literally the stuff he was saying, I was like, that could come out of my mouth. Like, I, I, I can, saw myself I can see that. that. 100%. Actually, actually, I felt the same way. Yeah, he's a cool kid. He's yeah. very I felt like he would be somebody that uh, I would have been friends with if I had known him before this being the first time. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, he's a cool for sure. Person. All right, so Maya, you have obviously haven't been with us through many artists at this point, but... Top five interview? Yeah. Yeah. E- easy ex- top five easy, or easy hard top, top five? five. Yeah. I didn't expect that from him. I'm not saying like I took him to be like young and dumb, but it just the way he started talking and presenting himself, I was like, oh, okay. You know, like that's different. Mm-hmm. Even the interviews I've had set on, for me, this would probably be one of the top ones that I, I prefer. I would enjoy to talk to him more often, actually, because it's not just about the music. I feel like a lot of artists come in here pushing their music without pushing who they are as a person. Mm. And I feel like he was really authentic. But that's yeah. what After Hours is about, man. Yeah. We got we got to know who the person is behind the artist. Yeah. Like, if that makes I get the person is the artist, but the persona, like, we got to know who the person is, what their values are, yeah. who they think. I think that's why it's really good when artists come to something like After Hours. I think that's why I want you know, I push that so much. Like, yeah, we do the interviews mm-hmm. and we got pundit and we do the music part, but let's get to know who you really are. Because yeah. then we know we fuck with you or not. Yeah. Right, yeah. And, and honestly, I think part of that does come with him being so young at that because look at his age in comparison to the other people we've interviewed. You're kind of setting your ways at that point. Mm-hmm. You're more setting your ways. His, I mean, like, well, being 21, your mind's more malleable. I know it's only a couple year difference, but it is. It's still more malleable. He's still, he's still way more accepting than a lot of older people are yeah. to ex- criticism. And that's not, else. that's not a knock on it's any not. other artists that we came across. Like, we really, we every artist that came across, I can honestly say we really fuck with. Um, yeah. 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 I, I don't think there's no artist that we said. It's no shade. It's just. Yeah. Except for cuz I tried to get our YouTube video taken down. I got some against but you. But we never but interviewed him. I, yeah, we never Fuck I that want nigga. to though. I want to though. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> Come you up know, here. It's just the fact that he even said like, you know, just even Zay's criticism. No, he took it to heart. Yeah. He just took it I would actually back up further than that. He didn't require any criticism because he gave it to you himself. The ability to be constructive with yourself and be honest with yourself is a quality a lot of people don't have. Mm-hmm. He admitted his to himself prior to y'all even talking about his music, about although I've grown, basically, there's still more work for me to do. Mm-hmm. I think y'all went in a little bit more detail about what that was after the fact, but, I mean, he owned the, the rawness and the construction yeah, of his work, sure. even right now. And mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of people don't want to do that. They want to come... Get on interviews and hype up a situation that if it's not that, then it's not that. I I enjoyed the fact that he went. I'm not. I'm not saying he attacking you like you. You a bitch or Mm -hmm. anything. But I like the fact that he addressed that like. Yeah. Like almost right away, because most you know artists that we've already they beat you know, around the bush right Yeah, definitely. they do. They beat around the bush and they don't want to bring up what I said. Like, I, cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna own up to what I said. And I, yeah, for sure, that literally is what it is. Like, just, I'm waiting for handsome dog. If we, <laughs> if we ever get I handsome dog, me out. man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, New York for me has been pretty good. Uh, I think. Yeah, it, it was definitely an in-the-moment thing, something that you wanted to stay in and you wanted to soak in. Mm-hmm. And, you know, life just is just a symbolism how fast things move. Mm-hmm. And uh, that was a good term that you next heard. thing you know, I'd be editing this and back home and just like, damn, we waited. We planned this trip like two months yeah. ahead and just like, damn, That's why it's good it to came be present, and went. Though. That's the whole point of being present because time is relative so like sitting in that moment 
Time could have been going slow for anybody else in the room and fast for you. Mm -hmm. But being present in that moment, you kind of, no matter how fast or slow time goes, you're still able to capture it, mm -hmm. like, in your memory. So, like, being in a moment is really what matters. Like, nobody care about what bills you got to pay, what you want to eat for dinner, like, what you doing after this, like, what's going on right now? And mm -hmm. right now, like, we, we was producing good. good yeah, food. just make sure we popping shit. That's yeah. all. That's what we can do. Because we popping shit over there. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> anyways, um, so would y'all come back up north or would y'all go down south now? Because uh -huh. I think it's too early to go west, honestly. I think and I we have no artists west yet. Yeah. I would definitely come back up north and I'm going to tell you why. Just like you said, living in the moment was a really good thing. I know you probably live down south. But I feel like down south, we had to do like more partying, more going out. Yeah. And it's just like doing what we wanted to do today and not being forced to do anything or like had to do it mm. it was cool but down south like the only you going to have fun is if you go out yeah if you know it's, it yeah it was my, my bad yeah, no you're fine yeah. but it's like you have to go out so it's like mm -hmm. the fact that we didn't have to we could just walk around looking stupid <laughs> that was fun yeah it's nice not to be in the mix because like i'm not gonna say that's not pundit scene but i just know personally that's not my scene exactly so like it's just like to be able to just be an adventurer and you know go around and see stuff it's cool Mm. It's always cool. So we'll definitely do something like this again. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. All right. I just, and next time, we need Ashanti. Ashanti. Yes. Where's my Ashanti camera? Ashanti. Yes, the combo, Lou. Might as well, bro. Yeah. You might as well. It's going to be crazy. And I'm going to have to talk to my insurance company before you come. But <laughs> I want you here. Don't let that confuse you. Like. No, um, but we got three minutes left. Uh, we had an interesting talk in the car on the way here, and so I'm going to bring up that topic, and then we can wrap it up. But uh, I wanted to get to the this whole NeNe Leak story, uh, how her dude... Uh, le listen, listen. Let me, let, me let me introduce it to the audience, mm -hmm. and then we could talk a little bit, okay. and then we could leave. We could wrap it up. Mm -hmm. So what happened with NeNe Leaks? Is her husband dies, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. About about two, maybe three months ago. I'm gonna say two months. Mm -hmm. I'm comfortable with saying two months. Mm -hmm. And so she already has a new dude. Already off the rip. Did she ever truly love him? Now I hate. I honestly hate telling how another person feels or psychoanalyzing another person. But if this was any regular person. I would say that she never loved him. What? Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. She did. They loved each other. But they realized Greg was already dying for a while now. Mm -hmm. So they had their time to go through him and his emotions about you know him dying. So they probably told them apart. So you know that's that's their husband that day because they went up in front of God and made a union. So she's a beautiful thing regardless. But I think they had a conversation like I'm about to die. But I want you to be happy, regardless of me leaving this earth. Like she said, she she even says we when when she was crying like on TMZ, you know, she's like Greg was my friend, my best friend in the world, regardless of us being married. That's our best friends. That's my best friend. So it's like she was losing her best friend and not her husband. Guess how you gotta look at it. What, what, wait a minute. How does that? How are you gonna separate it now? That's my best thing, okay. just to ask you. How can you separate the two when they, like, literally, marriage counselors and even some others will just simply tell you your significant other is supposed to be your best friend. They're supposed that's to be all that in one. That's a whole different segment, but that's impossible. Yeah, because they, it's, by that time, they already separated that union, to me and my personal opinion. It wasn't legally separated or to the It wasn't legally, higher. yes, but mentally, yes, it was. Okay, it's good that she waited till after he passed, but... It's just too soon. Imagine. Imagine. Because niggas got on Kodak for this very same thing. Imagine Nipsey Hussle dies and Lauren London two months after Nipsey dies is back here dating. Yeah, that's her business. But you will still say, that's oh, okay. she was cheating. No, you wouldn't say that was okay. The question was, did, it did she love ever him? love him? Or I don't think so, bro. Opinion, Ain't no way you moved that quick. Yes. 
to another at nigga? At some point, they had decades of relationships, so we can't pinpoint when the relationship right. wasn't or when it was. They're right? probably on some Will and Jada shit. Yeah, that's all you can say at that point. A lot of the time of the relationship, they, their relationship was on TV. So right. through her. So one, that's a one-sided perspective, I right. know. But what I did see in viewing their relationship on TV is it being a natural relationship going through its ups, its downs, its breakups, its backs together. His illnesses, them not working out, a whole bunch of things. Now, I'm not going to say that she never loved him. I, I, I feel like that's really extreme. Right. Did she that move, was, that was I only said that because things? of the time was frame. It, was it tasteful? No. I think she could have been and to it say. didn't have to come out. Right? Yeah. But... I don't think anybody should put a shelf life on your healing and when you should move on. Right. That's not fair. Nah, now, I disagree. Ready, no, if she's ready to move. If I die and you fucking on. somebody or kissing somebody in the club two months later, nah, bro. Two months? I mean, uh, I, I feel no. like you can't really put, tell somebody when it's time right. for them to uh, move. Because no. she really I mean, can be with that person. Can you, you imagine? But hands. let's flip it on the inverted. No, sir. Let's say she has been nah, holding man. on to his, and grieving his death and now... You're saying, well, now you need to let him go. It's like, no matter what the person does, people are still going to put their own shelf life of how soon or how right. much you should wait. And I feel like that's irrelevant if you're asking if she loved him, if she right. ever loved him. Yes, that I can say she had. Right, but I, I switched but that she term. she wasn't tasteful. She probably did love him. It she probably tasteful. did. But if that, if that was your, if that was somebody related to you, right? And then you see their wife I would say or the same their thing. ex-wife. It's, uh, it's not tasteful. But yeah. you're entitled to fucking whoever the I, fuck you see, want. Even then, I y'all, feel like, half of y'all don't even wait till y'all bitches die to fuck with. But I just feel like, I feel like even then, like you say, it's not tasteful. It's like you got to think. Okay, I see where you're coming from where you're like, you can't tell me how to grieve. You can't tell me how long to grieve. Mm-hmm. But at the same point. No, I feel like no normal person is going to take two months and then be out back on the market, especially if I was with a motherfucker for decades, as you were saying. Mm-hmm. Like you said, you could know you could say, look, mentally, yeah, she wasn't there, but I still feel like there's an emotional attachment there that you would but not have. You overcome. also have to realize a lot of women leave the relationship mentally and emotionally right. before they physically leave right. the relationship. That's a why guys don't them. do that. So, but then even that, guys, so that, once they make it up in their mind, they want to go. They're gonna go. At some well, okay, but I, that's the thing. I'm gonna be honest with you. If I'm on my deathbed, I'd rather have your ass leave than be with me for some fake shit. Facts. That's you. Facts. But I'd ra- but no, that's, but that's common sense. That's a wanted, lot of people. He might have wanted his friend there. Right, but that's she, why. you can be there for me, Thank but not you. as my wife. You, you can be there for me, but not as my wife. They was. As a girlfriend, she was on somebody else's dick. Never was. That's okay, that's fine, bro. You're not in my face. That's cool. That's cool. I like how she said he just wanted a friend. Like I said, that's why I separated them. Then get the fuck they, out of my house and don't no no. no you can't say, oh, oh, oh. No, I get saying, I get. I'm he probably don't want to die alone. I get that. He probably don't want to die alone. No, but, no, 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 get a nurse. No, no, no. I'm not saying Nene was the breadwinner, but that was rightfully her house too. So I didn't get out my house shit. But because you about to be gone. Either way, but either way, but either way, like, okay, Man. that's cool. That can be your house once I'm dead, but that's what I I'm saying. As, men nah, in their comments. egos. It's not even an ego. That's just, to me, to me, that, to me, that's common because, decency. Bro, bro, unless, okay, I'm going to just. What a bromance, bro. We got to sweep their feet, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm down, we, we sweeping their yeah, feet. Because yeah. if, 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 if something me, happens. I got to get caught first. <laughs> <laughs> if Nene was on the other side of the fence, men would be like, hey, he, he should be happy. Yeah, it's okay. Then you know that men would be like, he, she should be happy. He should but, be happy. Okay, but that's yeah, the, if that if that I'm gonna be uh, honest with you, if that statement came out, I would leave it alone. But it's just the fact that she's with somebody so soon. To me, it seems either one rushed, so like she fucking mm-hmm. she's fucking herself up. She could be, and I see where you're coming from. Where women leave the leave it mentally and emotionally, but she still could fuck herself up because she moved on too quick. But it's also at the same point. To me, that's just, it's just, man, it's just not common decency. Like, what, what is that? You don't, in my opinion, you didn't respect the relationship so, by not waiting. all right, I know we got a time, but mm-hmm. how long are y'all going to wait? If, just if, straight up, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is, if is my it, girl dies? Yes. Is it the relationship I'm in right now? If, like, a mile It don't matter, die? I don't care. Oh, I, I whoever say, you want to envision. I, I would definitely give myself a year or two. That's right, yeah, that's okay. I'm waiting a year or two. For like, sure. Yeah. And you wouldn't date anybody. No, not no. talk, not flirt, not, not want to fuck. No. Okay. okay. No. No. I'm about to kill myself.
We'll see. What? <laughs> y'all I I get him, bro. Get him, bro. Hey, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I wouldn't be cool to body. I just want. I'd have left. I'd have grabbed my shit and left. Hey, this. Oh, my bad. No, no, no. I was saying we can finish it in the comments. Oh, oh yes, we know you're in the comments. Yeah, I do talk to you. Y'all not a little out here. We're real people. This is after I was on Simone. I'm see the surfer. We in New York. Later, blind.